I know you're not reporting anymore on the baseball, so I don't know if you've talked to people or not, but do you get any sense for what people are thinking? Like, do you do you have a sense that people feel like, man, come on, he he, he did something? Or well, do you feel like people right now at least, I know everybody wants him to be innocent. I certainly want him to be innocent. No, but I, do you, you feel you, like people are buying what the story is right the now? The only thing I think that, Chris, people were impressed by was he put himself out there when he said he's never bet on anything. Like, any, forget about baseball. Right. So if some slips show up or something happens and his name's attached, he's, you know what I mean? Like, yep. like you could have said, uh, you know what? I've never bet on baseball. I've I've put in a couple I've of NBA bet. bets. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Or right. or or you know, like Chris, or in case something shows up. Yep. You know what I mean? Like yep. like you could have said that and nobody would have blinked. But to say like I despise betting, I've never done it ever on anything, that was the thing, because he painted himself in the corner now. I also wonder, Rob, and Rob G, you can hop in if you've seen something on this. Has anything been said about whether or not Otani's going to press charges against his former interpreter? That I because have not I, seen. I, I, okay. I, it, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Rob, if I were getting into your account somehow, and we're friends, obviously. Right. And I took a certain, some, you know, a significant amount of money. You took the I money for MLB pressed, Bro. And, and what am I going to do? Look, it made you look bad, right? It put your whole career in jeopardy. I would think you'd press charges. Well, he has said, Chris, that he's going to cooperate with authorities. And I guess that means that, you know, once they find out what's happened, uh, that there probably would be charges. A $4.5 million is not, Chris, <laughs> You helping yourself to a thousand dollars? No, right. Exactly. In singles, you you saw in my on my uh, living room, uh, on my coffee table. Right. You just and I went right. to the bathroom and you put a thousand singles in your pocket. I still got some singles from when you used to throw them around the. Yeah, I know. I, I, I know. I got video I evidence. Know that. <laughs> I got video evidence of you picking up money and putting but them in your pocket. You're right, right. And look, I'm just saying that. Um, I, you know how much I like Otani. I think he's the best baseball player ever. I mean, he's not the GOAT. He hadn't played long enough. But I, I think he's the best talent we've ever seen. So I certainly want him to be innocent and to go on and have a fantastic career that I would love to see him go ahead and kind of validate him being the GOAT, right? Be the best player ever, hitting and pitching. But I, I do have to say this, Rob. While I was happy with what he said yesterday, too, I mean, it's what you got to say. Well, uh, you don't well, have to come out and say, I've never bet. But I'm just, you know what I mean? I, I've i never bet, period. But I'm just saying, you do have to say the right things. And he said the right thing. Rob, Rob G wants to add two cents. You got something? Well, this is what makes it very interesting, what he said yesterday. In his aggressive denial of everything, not just denial, but... He threw his interpreter under the bus, backed it up, and ran over him again, right? Because he's he like, he's he like, did. look, I had nothing to do with this. This guy is not only a liar, he's a thief, he's a gambling addict. I had no idea what was going on. I have no involvement whatsoever. This is all his doing. So when all of this first broke about a week ago, neither Otani nor the interpreter were under any kind of investigation. It was, we're after the bookmaker. Because ultimately, he's the big fish here. We just want people to cooperate so we can get him because he's the one he's getting illegal. millions and millions of dollars. And whatever you guys can do, not saying we're going to grant you immunity, but whatever you can do to help us is going to help you in the long run. What Otani did, though, in his effusive denial is he's now painted his former interpreter as a massive fraud criminal in his own right. So if everything Otani is saying is true... Not only now is the bookmaker a person of interest, but now you have potentially 
millions of dollars in fraud by this interpreter guy that if he does not have charges brought against him, if Otani does not pursue right. legal action, it's going to make him look very, very Absolutely. suspicious. He has no, he has no somebody, choice but to. I, I agree with reported, that. You're saying the guy stole millions of dollars from you. 4.5 million. to your account. Right. Illegally hacked your account and stole four and a half million dollars. I mean, yes, of course you're you're suing. Pressing charges, I should say. Yeah. All right. Um, Rob, let's quickly go to the NFL draft. J.J. McCarthy, Rob, according to NFL Network's Tom Pelissaro, is now expected to go second in the draft ahead of Drake May, ahead of Jaden Daniels to the Washington Commanders. This is according to Pelissaro, who says that executives from other teams believe that the Commanders are targeting J.J. McCarthy. Now, Rob, I'm going to say this. We have seen enough guys, quarterbacks in the NFL draft, guys who were highly touted and viewed incredibly high, not pan out. And we have seen late picks, and this isn't even that late, but Lamar Jackson, last player in the first round. Aaron Rodgers, 22nd pick. Dak Prescott, fourth pick. Obviously, Brock Purdy, Mr. Irrelevant. I don't even have to go historical with with Tom Brady and Joe Montana was a third-round pick, on and on. Even, heck, Patrick Mahomes was the number 10 pick in his draft. So we've seen enough where there's enough uh, room for uh, – you know, I'll put it this way. I'm, I'm sorry I'm stumbling over my words. But we've seen enough quarterbacks who weren't that highly thought of or didn't have this sensational college career come into the NFL and be not only good, but stars. So I'm not going to sit here and just completely poo-poo J.J. McCarthy and say, oh, this is ridiculous and all that. What I will say, because, look, he can throw the ball. He's very accurate. He makes smart decisions. Heck, he won a national championship, Michigan's first outright title ever, I think. They won something. Yeah, in the but 40s, they did it right? running the football. I just want to make sure that everybody, they did it running well, the well, football. Well, right. That, see, and look, he did. He had a few games he threw 30 I'm not, plus Chris, passes. I'm, 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 right. He threw about 20 something a game, but you're right. This, my red flag, Rob, is if he's that good, why didn't you throw the football? That's, Thank that's you. my only red flag. I'm and, Chris, if you have that kind of quarterback, who's going to be the number two pick in the NFL draft, I'm sorry. He he would be throwing the football, and you'd be like, look at that stud Michigan has. And that was not J.J. McCarthy. It's not saying that he's a bum. We're not saying that. And we're going to give him credit for being a quarterback that won a national championship. But but that's not how they won. They won with running the football, and they had such a running attack, Chris, that that opened up McCarthy. Let's just be honest. Yep. You had to you had to put an extra man in the box for their running attack at Michigan. Right. You you and had they still to didn't throw it a ton. Right. <laughs> I, I I'm with you. Obviously, Harbaugh knows what to do with quarterbacks, so it, it is a bit strange. I look, it worked. Right, they won. So you can't you got to say okay, they won. I guess Rob. You can say uh, a lot of their games were blowouts. But Chris, let me, but so let me you give might me. say, well, they only threw it twenty five times because heck, they were up forty eight to seven. But but let, but let me give you some numbers here, and this is the problem. Okay, seven times this season, McCarthy attempted twenty or less passes. Chris, that's out of fifteen games, twenty or less. So they yeah. were running the football, and guess how many times he threw for more than three hundred yards all I year? Think once, one time. Yep. So I'm yep. just saying, like, if I'm the, if I'm with the number two pick, I need to take a look at that guy. If we don't have the at the appropriate running game or running attack, he might not be as effective as we think. That that's no, all I, I'm. I, I, you're right. I mean, he it's an unknown. It's an unknown. If you want to take that risk, go ahead. Because again, Rob, and I think you agree with me. There've been guys. We, we don't define it as a crapshoot. I think that's too much. But it is an inexact science. Right. But for this guy to move up this much, and I don't want to hear anything about the pro day. 
I don't want to hear anything about Nobody, the 65 right, yard stop pass. It. I mean, Zach Wilson, that's what made the Jets make a mistake. And yes, go look two. at his pro day and go like, oh, wow, right. look at this guy. Oh, my God. Oh, hey, that's get the that. equivalent, Rob, of watching a guy shoot by himself on the basketball court, shoot a bunch of three-pointers and hit him. Well, if he doesn't have the speed and quickness to get open, it's not going to matter. And so I, I don't get – I think it's just giving these scouts and teams something to do, justify their existence to some degree. I mean, they're, they're but, necessary, but it's – it's just ridiculous. I, I mean, know, what is he I, doing against defenses in pads in a game? Right. I, I'm with you. And the other thing is, there's certain teams, and I, I know there's a new owner and new regime there, but Washington has fumbled a lot and made a lot of mistakes over the years. And and I, you, you got to be careful if this is your – you're starting your franchise, Chris. You know what I mean? You better get yep. this one right or close to it. Cause you can't have a, you can't have a flame out and a big mistake. Look at what look at the one for look where the Jets wound up. Uh, I mean, you can't keep doing it. You can't keep making the mistakes and not and not picking the right people. And and you keep seeing bad teams do the same thing over and over. And and it's questionable. It's I mean, a look, questionable pick. Bryce Young, Rob, questionable was. I liked C.J. Stroud better, but almost everybody was on Bryce Young. And I didn't say he wasn't going to be any good. And we'll see what he ends up doing, you know, right. for the rest of his career. But he was the consensus number one, essentially. And we saw how bad he looked this year. And so mistakes, I mean, look, the thing about J.J. Robin, you said he had the run game. He had a great offensive line. He had good enough receivers. He had a great defense. He had an NFL, a top coach. He had everything working for him. He goes to Washington, Rob. That's not going to be the case. And I know a lot of, I think a lot of the scouts like, oh, he's on time. And that's important. He's an on-time quarterback. He does what the play calls for. And a lot of these newfangled, Rob, analytics coaches, offensive gurus and geniuses, that's what they want. They feel like their calls, their plays are so great, all you have to do is execute it. Paint by the numbers. Don't ad-lib. You're not Patrick Mahomes. I don't need you ad-libbing. 